<laughs> what you working on, Mickey? There's still a lot in there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, what we got going on here is getting ready to leave for the airport, but the last thing we have to do is empty the pooper. Oh. Mickey says, I don't have a problem with the pooper. Oh. Let me do it. How's it working out for you? <laughs> Oh. I'm not picking that up. <sighs> you have to. I think there's baby white stuff in there. Oh, I need that. I need that thing out of there. We need two sticks. Oh. Uh, anybody? Are you looking for sticks? Oh, look at all the flies already, man. You know what? Look at this pot. It's smoking. <laughs> Do you see it smoking? Run the water. <laughs> I'm doing well. It's Q and A time. So so we got a couple questions today sent to me on Snapchat. First question, what do you miss about California? Nothing, just kidding. I miss my friends in California, a handful of good friends that I'm still in contact with now and I don't get to see very often. People and diversity, movie theaters and galleries, museums, places to see concerts. I also miss um, in and out That's pretty good too. And Del Taco, Krispy Kreme Donuts. This is appropriate. Next question. Will I ever go back to CrossFit Parallax? Mm, let me explain. First, what CrossFit Parallax is. I used to go to a gym, CrossFit Parallax, and it's a great gym. And just with it being about 35, 35 minutes from my house, multiply that by two, 70 minutes, get there 15 minutes early for stretching, 85 minutes, one hour class, 100, and 45 minutes. As much as I love um, going there, it was really cool. I got great results. I really like the trainer, the owner, Rachel. She's like the strongest girl. I liked hanging out with my friends there, but um, just too far. So I don't know if I'll ever go back. Sorry, but I should go back. This is the fattest I've ever been in my whole life. I gotta do something about that. Donuts. How do you come up with the font you use in your work? It's a very interesting question. Let me see if I can explain it this way. So the font I use in a lot of my paintings and my murals is a font called League Gothic, and I really like it for graphic design and for painting. Really, the reason I picked that is it's just an easy font to draw. S's are kind of hard to draw and keep uniform, uh, especially if you're doing a painting and a mural. With Lig Gothic, a cool like trick, kind of make the S like two U's and you connect it like that. But then also like when you do your O's, you make them the same way and then you just connect them. U the same way. So it's just a really easy way to create uniform letters. Uh, use that font and it's just been a font that I really like. In all honesty, I picked that font because it's easy and um, seem, seems like a good reason to me. If you guys remember Java Jake's, it was a uh, coffee shop in Ocean City on Asbury. This is from Java Jake. If I wasn't an artist, what would I do for a living? The first thing that comes to mind would be a welder. Let me get back to work on this painting. I'm wrestling with it big time. It's giving me a lot of problems. This is all you can see. Real quick, because it's not real good right now. Uh. 